land. Quickly, what you want to see this year, say it. Christian mothers in different churches from various cities and towns across Edo and Delta states came out on mass and gathered for one purpose, to pray for the land. As early as 8 a.m., the prayer ground was packed full with women dressed in colorful attires. The scorching afternoon sun did not deter them as they persisted in prayers till later in the day. In a sermon, the vision bearer, Mother's Decree a Thing, and founder, Family Intercessory Prayer Ministry, Pastor Margaret Ogbonifo, said because of the prayers of mothers, the nation will witness God's blessings and urged the women to believe God for the enthronement of righteousness in the country. Whatever makes us to cry in Nigeria, the Bible says in Psalm 30 verse 5, weeping may endure for a life and joy come into the morning. The joy of Nigeria has come. Yeah. I'm glad to announce to you that in this divine overthrow, in this modern prayer ground today, that request you have brought to this prayer ground, it shall be told to a testimony. Yeah. Some religious leaders who include a State chairman of PFN, Reverend Mon Igbonosa, representative of the Archbishop of Church of God Mission, Most Reverend Margaret Benson Idahosa, and the coordinator, Chosen Women Fellowship, Most Senior Reverend Matilda Unoefe, presented goodwill messages. High point of the event was the symbolic salting of the earth and prayer session where families, the church, the country and those in authority were prayed for with special prayer for peaceful 2019 general elections. Wife of Edo State Governor Mrs. Bessie Obaseki was represented by Dr. Nosa Aladeshelu. The prayers that the women have prayed here today, God will answer it. God will answer and bring us peace, particularly to Nigeria during the election. God will bring progress to our land. Husband of the vision bearer, Pastor Edward Akpongifo, expressed the hope that the effect of the prayer will be evident, while other participants enumerated some challenges that they expect God to intervene. We are expecting that our election this year is going to be a peaceful one. No, no blood will be shed. And God will give us men and women of his own, of his own, of his own heart. What is happening here today is a divine calling. As they decree, even so shall it be established in Jesus' name. The biggest prayer for our universities is that our both our administration and our student bodies will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. My prayer is that um, the Almighty God will receive our prayers and change this nation for good. We thank God for many things that happened today. God has brought the women to decree a thing. And by this time next year, we'll be celebrating God's goodness again. There will be a divine of our tongue. I believe that God is going to make us rich. Pastor Margaret Agbonifo also used the occasion of the 2019 Mother Decree a Thing prayer session to empower indigent members from different churches, as well as presentation of gifts to widows. Having poured out their hearts to God, the women rose up and departed in the confidence that a better year is before them. From the Women Decree a Thing prayer ground, Benin City, Pius Nsogo reporting.